So we had a direct. It was good. Well, it's not a Nintendo Direct. We haven't had a Nintendo Direct, a full Nintendo Direct in over 500 days. This was the first one, and they were hitting us with a whopping 50 minutes of it. So you can you can just expect it to be crammed full of RPGs. <laughs> it was good. It was good. I had a good time watching it. We watched it on Twitch together. And by the way, oh my gosh, we had over 9,000, almost 10,000 people watching over on Twitch. So if you were one of those, hey, thank you so much. We're live again tonight doing more stuff. You saw it, you saw it, but we're going to go back through it again. And I'm going to give you my thoughts, my opinions. I'm going to crack open a fresh G Fuel with one hand. Get get, get, get your own G Fuel down below. Code beat em ups. Get yourself 30% off. That actually helps support the channel and support the stream and support me. What more could you want? It started with this Xenoblade, which immediately my chat was popping. Why is Xenoblade here? Why is Xenoblade here? Why are we seeing Xenoblade? Why won't the little red bar go away? Because <laughs> everyone knows how much I love Xenoblade 2, but I was excited. I thought maybe Xenoblade 3, I could give Xenoblade another shot, give it a chance. But it ended up being a surprise Smash character announcement, which I did not see coming. We have Pyra and the blonde one. I feel bad for Rex. He's been delegated as a final Smash move for Pyra. But I do love the way that Pyra shifts between her two identities. It reminds me of the old Zelda and Sheik combo wombo. You don't care. All right. That's Smash. Moving on. They actually didn't show us the amiibo for that one. Usually they show you the amiibo. They didn't. They didn't this time. I guess we'll just have to imagine it. Probably looks something like this. Or maybe not. Mithra. Mithra. I'm sorry. Mithra. Oh, I got all the freaking weeaboos down there yelling at me. Mithra. <laughs> I, I got it. I got it. You can go and delete your comment. I know it's Mithra. And then, um, just about six months too late, Fall, gu Fall Guys is finally on Switch. I hate to be the one to say this. I hate, I, 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 well, I don't really hate it. I'm glad, I'm glad. Because I said this back like four months ago that if they were going to release Fall Guys on Switch, they should have done it when the game was hot. I remember the developers said they had no intentions and there wasn't even in the pipeline back when this game was popping on Twitch. It wasn't even in their thought process to bring it to Switch, which I thought was ludicrous. But we've already gone through like three other waves since then. Among Us has come and gone. Phasmophobia has come and gone. Now people are on Valheim. Love you, Fall Guys. I had a great time with you. Can't wait for Fall Guys 2. Bring it to Switch, maybe. <laughs> if you were watching on Twitch, we actually had a bingo sheet going on. I was really, we actually, we hit bingo too. That's bingo! Bingo, baby! We just got bingo! Bingo, baby! Well, that was very boring. But the whole time when I was streaming, I was I had my eye on that Genshin Impact Square. And I really thought we would finally cross it off. What is going on with that? Still still no word, but this game's pretty good. Wildlands, out Outlands, Wild Out Wild. I, I can't remember. But the game actually looks really fun, and I'm glad it's finally coming to Switch. So it was it was about here. It was about here that, in my opinion, uh, it, it starts to become a little bit of a slog until you get to the midway point of the direct. We have this visual novel game, uh, which I honestly know nothing about. Sorry. I'm sorry. Then we have Samurai Warriors 5, which, that's good. That's good. That's, that's the fifth one. That's got to count for something. At least five. It's got to count for five. Secret of Mana finally coming to Switch. That's pretty cool. I look forward to paying for it, I guess. Is it part of the SNES online? I don't know. I actually don't think so. So I, ge I guess I look forward to buying it. Monster Hunter Rise, really exciting, you know, but we, we already knew about that and we have the demo. A, a lot of us has already, already played this and we're just waiting for it to come out in March. Oh, but then we got a little taste, a little, a little suckle of Mario. Typically, I don't like golf games. I think the closest thing to a golf game I've actually enjoyed was Golf Story. But as far as a traditional golf game, the Mario golf games have always been actually pretty fun. And I like the look at this one. I like that you can play that crazy hectic mode, speed golf, where you're all running around the field and just chasing the balls and trying to beat everyone else to the holes. 
like you know, golf. I did not like Mario Tennis very much, so I think I'll like this one. The voiceover for this, though, was really weird. I just, I didn't, I kind of, I, I lost it at one point, just started laughing at it. I <laughs> just, I don't I don't know why I found it so funny. Did we mention story mode as a me <laughs> character? You'll start out as a rookie. Telltale, you love him, you hate him, or you just love him, I love them. Tales of Borderlands is coming to Switch. This is apparently really good. I, I'm not a huge Borderlands fan. I am a Telltale fan. The two coming together never really appealed to me, but sure, I guess I'll play it, I guess. We got another look at No More Heroes 3. I'm just glad that No More Heroes 3 didn't get delayed. Now my chat, was disappointed, was, was, my, my chat was kind of like, eh, on this one. They were like, eh, what is, eh, eh. But for me, I was like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I like card-based games, and this one's kind of cool. It's like a speed runner where you pick up cards as you go, and you use those cards to attack. Look, I'm interested, Neon White. I am very intrigued in what you're putting down. And I'm, I'm, I am ready to pick it up. I actually think it looks really fun. I don't know what all y'all are smoking. <laughs> it was at this point in the direct that I sorely regretted and realized the mistake I had made, not putting a cringe section into my bingo sheet. Who, why, when, where, what is the demographic here? If you're excited for this one, I'm, I'm really happy for you. Are you do you mind if we just blast through some of these really quickly? Uh, Plants vs. Zombies. Actually, this one's good. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'll blast through in a second. Metopia? I know. If you haven't played it, I know how it looks. Trust me. But it's actually really good. You can make any of the characters anyone you want. Obviously, while well, using me's. But I remember the first time I played, I made the bad guy uh, Judge Judy. I had <laughs> the main characters in my game were like me and Kim and my friends. But it's a really fun game. I like this game a lot. It's cute. It's cute. It's not, it's not like, you get a horse, okay? For any of you losers that forgot there was Mario DLC coming to Animal, I did, I forgot. Uh, Mar the Mario DLC is finally coming out. This is cool. I expected to see something Animal Crossing. I was kind of hoping for like a big update, like a ton more content being added in. Kind of looks like just some Mario assets you can place around the world. It's cool, but it's gimmicky. It's cool, but it's gonna ruin my island. It's cool, but I'm probably not ever going to do it or use it or really set up more than like one thing. Otherwise my island's gonna look super tacky. But I like that the warp tunnels are essentially fast travel. Cause you know what I hate? Waking up in the morning and having to run all the way into town. Now I can just put a warp pipe next to my house and bung, bing, boom, bam, I'm in town. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Oh, chat, oh, chat, oh, chat, chat, I'm not live. Oh, guys, <laughs> oh, comment section. This next one, I still don't, I, I'm still recovering. I'm still in recovery mode on this one, chat, 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 chat. I'm not lying. When I saw this, I instantly knew it was the next installment in the Octopath Traveler series, world, whatever you want to call it. I, I even forgot what they have called it, but it, that is what it is. It's, it's the next game from Square Enix in that series of whatever. Here's the thing. Looks like it's a whole new experience. They've even changed, and this was the, uh, sorry, I, I don't even want to say it, but they've even changed the combat to be not a turn, based strategy, uh, Final Fantasy kind of style combat, but instead now it's more like Fire Emblem, where it's on a grid and you have to worry about the environment and like levels and like get made blah, 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 blah. That's fine. It is fine. I mean, I know a lot of people love that. I am not a huge fan of it. I like it in some games. I like a lot of games that happen to have that combat. It's probably a better way to say it. Do I love that? Do I don't like that. I don't like it. I'm blabbing now, so we'll move on, but I'm mad. F's in the chat. I'm not really that mad. I honestly, I don't really even care. By the way, you can't just show a new Star Wars game of all things and have the trailer not only tell you nothing, but last like 10 seconds and then that's it. It's over. Coming 2021, I don't know what that is, but it's Star Wars. And then started talking about some horrible Fortnite dodgeball looking game. <laughs> Maybe it's fun. It has potential. I don't know. It could be good. It's probably bad. But how do you breeze over the Star Wars? Someone said in my chat that it's also going to be available on iOS and, and, and Android. So it's a, it's a mobile. It's a mobile. It, well, it's, it, it, it's a game that's on Switch and mobile. So, I mean, how it can only be so good. <laughs> and then something nobody asked for. 
but a lot of people will probably enjoy, like myself. We have a Ninja Gaiden trilogy. Age of Calamity got some DLC, some new missions getting thrown into the game, which is good to see the support. The new Ghost and Goblins. That has a horrible art style, in my opinion, and honestly, did not make me even excited for it at all. I, 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 what is, what is this? I don't want this. Take this away. Change it. Some more RPGs. Uh, Apex, which we we already know about. It's cool. Finally. Uh, what the heck? What took so long? It's Apex. Put it on Switch already. What, what, what do you got going on? Then, oh, finally, my boy, my gorgeous man comes out. Yeah, he's mine. Hands off, ladies. To talk. To talk about Zelda. He mentioned uh, Breath of the Wild 2, blah, nah, which obviously we're excited about but didn't expect to see. But he said it's coming along nicely, which is good to hear, actually. Can we pause this for a second? It's good to hear, actually, that it's coming along nicely. I don't want to breeze over that. I'm excited for that. Sounds like things are smooth sailing. And we're going to get Breath of the Wild. We're going to get a deeper look at it later this year, which knowing Nintendo means that it's at least five years away from releasing. But in the meantime, oh, all oh, this gorgeous man gave us something to be excited for, and I can't, I can't do this announcement justice in any other way than showing you my actual reaction, which went like this. All right, okay, all right, okay. Let's go, it's going on! It's going on! Woo! 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 Yes, I told you. I told you, I told each and every one of you. Nobody listened. And it was like, no, Skyward Sword, it's a poopy game that sucks and they're not gonna port it. What did I say? You know what? And everyone was like, oh, but how would they do the Wiimote? How would they do the Wiimote, what? You can't do the Wiimote in the game. I told you, I told each and every one of you losers, you absolute losers that this would happen. And if that wasn't hype, sorry for calling everyone losers, by the way. Skyward Sword, yay! I did actually call this. I mean, I've been saying it for a very long time, but I, I, it's obvious. We got Wind Waker HD, we got Twilight Princess HD. Of course we were getting, they can't do my Skyward Sword like that. They can't just do it dirty like that and not give us a HD version of that game. I mean, for one, it's easy money. A lot of people had always said, ah, they, it won't happen because of the motion cassette, which I already screamed about in that clip, but there was always a way. I said there was always a way. For one, the freaking, how dumb, Joy-Cons. This is the Joy-Cons. Everyone was always like, yeah, you can't do it without the Wiimote. Really? Do you not realize what the Joy-Cons are? It's literally exactly the same thing. I'm excited. This game, I've always said it, is very underrated. People like to poop on this game and hate on this game, and I always felt like it was super unjust just because it gets a little repetitive near the end and you have to revisit some of the same areas and they're all underwater and blah, 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 blah. Who cares? The actual core game itself was fun. It's a great game, and as Nintendo themselves pointed out, it had a lot of elements to it that were precursors of Breath of the Wild. And it's by far one of my favorite Zelda games, and if you hate it, there's something wrong with your brain. Oh my god. Why, it's that, this was by far the coolest thing in the direct for me. I lost my absolute marbles. I was screaming. I actually am so... I have no energy. I am actually struggling to get through recording this video because <laughs> I have no energy after screaming my heart out for three hours at this direct. But no, uh, this was really cool, really exciting. And then, I mean, I haven't even really mentioned it yet, but they also are doing themed uh, Joy-Cons. Oh my gosh, look at them. I'm actually, wow. I'm actually even now realizing they're two different shades of blue. Like I really didn't, I did, really didn't look at them. They just, I, I saw they were Zelda themed and I was good. I don't even care what they look like. <laughs> I'll just buy them already. In fact, let's just buy them right now. Here they are. Perfect. I knew, I knew eBay would have my back. And bought. Surprisingly cheap. They're two shades of blue, which is such a good idea. Oh, and then this, oh, okay. This icon, I was actually wondering like, what is this icon even? I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. And I was like, oh, it's it's from the Master Sword, and then I knew the, I knew what that is, but it is also from the shield. So it's the shield and the sword. Oh my god, this makes so much sense. Because when you hold the Joy-Cons, one hand is the shield, and then one hand is the sword when you're attacking. So it's the, the sword and the shield, it's the Pokemon sword and shield. It's, I, it's it, it all makes so much sense. I didn't even realize that. I'm, real, I'm realizing that now. And I, I feel dumb, but also I feel smart that I figured that out. Because I feel like a lot of you are dumb and probably didn't realize that either. 
And then finally, they wrapped up the event with a little bit of Splatoon, which very, very interesting trailer. For a while there, I, I couldn't figure out if it was like a single player spin-off Splatoon game. Like initially I was like, obviously Splatoon 3, here we go, baby, can't wait. But then it kind of led into like this, 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 this side scrolling. And I was like, maybe this is a, a wacky spin-off game. It is actually Splatoon 3, which we all love Splatoon. Who doesn't? One of the first games that released on Switch and it has been about four years now. So it's time for a new one. The only disappointing thing, well, you know, I can't even be that mad when you have this adorable little chicken thing with big chicken fish with big eyes. I love it. And that jellyfish and even that fat fish. I like all I like all of this, but it's coming 2022. So like this was clearly, in my opinion, something tacked on at the end to kind of make the whole 50 minutes worth it. You know what I mean? With these really long directs, I always feel like it's more of a case of Nintendo just, they need to talk about this stuff. You know, maybe not all of it is super exciting for us, but they're all games that their third party developers or indie companies are all working really hard on and they need their moment. They need to be put in front of people's faces. However, that happens. Nintendo, you know, they're doing the right thing by the companies that are supporting them and supporting the Switch. So even though we're not excited for every single release, there is a little something for everyone. But I can see why a lot of people were kind of like, oh man, I was so hyped for a 50 minute direct. And then we got bupkis. <laughs> I love you all. Here's another video. I know I'm, I'm making videos again. Can you believe it? I have a lot of more videos planned for this month. I love you all. I see you all very soon. Thanks. I'm very, very tired. I'm very, very tired. Bye.